subscribe and ring the bell to never miss an update. Hello everyone, today on Lady Mary Beth, I'm taking you inside WAM, West Houston Assistance Ministries resale shop called Second Blessing. I haven't been here since the early 90s and I can't wait to take you inside and see what they've got for us today. I can't wait to go inside and see what treasures await. And look, they have some sales today. 50% off of housewares. They have a nice clothing department too. I see some artwork. And you know me, I'm always looking for tabletop and the fine things. And I see a case over there that we need to discover. Look at that Fenton. I see Murano glass. That Epern is a lot of fun for a table centerpiece. And I saw these actually before I came in, they're on their online store and they have some treasures. So let's take a look. I love square bowls. I think those are so interesting. Wham has an online store. I will include a link in the video description. It is for local pickup only. And they do feature those items here in the case as you walk in. These are their collectibles. Let me show you a few of these. This is a Balik vase with a beautiful shamrock design. Such a fine collectible. And Murano glass is not something you often see at a charity resale. How about this? I've been on the island of Murano and picked up a compote that is very similar to this, except it's the blue instead of the pink. And look, this comes with the candies as well. What a beautiful piece. And I can tell you on the island of Murano, it's very expensive. And here's a centerpiece bowl. This is with a poppy design. My daughter would love this. And it is Limoges, made in France. Quite a statement piece. And these are all items you can find on the online store. And this Fenton antique lamp just came in and it is $256. Isn't that a gorgeous piece with the cranberry glass? There's some great items they have and everything is donated. There are no consignments here and it all benefits the community. My friend has found some silver plated serving pieces. I love to collect cake servers, whether it's 800 German silver, sterling, silver plate, or even stainless. You can never have too many cake servers. I see some treasures here, that blue and white creamer, Looks to be Royal Copenhagen. We'll have to get back to that in a minute. Look at the stamp collection. They have some amazing donations from the community. Wildlife stamps from all 50 states. Look at that. For the collector, this really would be a great store to pop into every once in a while because you're going to find some unusual things. Look at that picture. Yes, it is Royal Copenhagen. Look at the waves. That's what I call it. Their back stamp is definitely iconic. For $20, that's a special piece. Really like it. Oh, look at those silver pictures. You know I'm all about pictures. I did a whole episode on those. Some nice silver plated trays as well and more servers. And this Viewmaster is interesting and it's $350 and I will tell you why. It is quite old and it features slides of Queen Elizabeth's coronation. Wow, that is quite something. And she is celebrating her Platinum Jubilee this year. And I see some sterling silver jewelry and one of my favorites, James Avery. Their dove is one of his earliest pieces. And at $28, that is a steal. If I didn't already have it, I would have bought that today. That really is an amazing price. Most of their charms are 50 and up. And this is a Jeep Collins piece. I could tell the design right away, even though I haven't seen this particular piece before. It's a net collar. And Jeep Collins worked for Mr. Avery many years ago, and he encouraged him to work with some of the metals like brass and bronze. And at the time, Mr. Avery was against it. And his company later did embrace that type of jewelry creation. 
But by then, Jeep Collins had moved on and started his own business. And that really is an excellent price. Then they do have sports memorabilia as well. Look at the bobbleheads, signed baseball. And in Houston, we're all about the Astros. And they have some treasures down there too. Look at that cut glass piece that probably came from a vanity. And I'm always looking for the glass and crystal. I like that basket there. And I saw a rose bowl. Let's get back to that. And this has a wider opening, so I would use that for tissues or for votive candle. And housewares, if it doesn't start with the number 99 in the style number, it's half price today. So that rose bowl was a really good deal. I'm getting this square silver plated tray. Isn't it gorgeous? It's from Gorham and it's $15. It's the heritage pattern. When you're out thrifting, think about birthday gifts and other needs that you have coming up this year. It's a great way to pick up some beautiful and affordable gifts. Look at these lovely Linux ladies in lavender. Wouldn't they be neat on a table centerpiece on the maybe each side of a vase? The Ivory Evening at the Opera for $20. Oh, what a fun piece that would be. Here's another Linux piece, and this number does not start in 99, so that would be half price since Housewares is on sale today. That's gorgeous. And this $10 crystal vase with the tripod foot, I think is so beautiful. Fill that with flowers, bring it to a friend on her birthday. And I've not really seen a Linux vase like this before. I'm sure that did come from the same donor. That's quite a piece. It almost looks like bleak. And this Fenton hobnail with a ruffled look, wouldn't that be beautiful for $12.50? You could fill it with candy. You could even put Oasis in it and fill it with flowers. And this crystal vase here is European. You can tell by the notched rim. And it's got the Hobstar design. And that would be half price at $9. Where can you go and find a gift for $9? And you go to the grocery store, spend $10 on flowers, and for under $20, you've got a great gift. Those are some Linux pieces that are very old. Look at that green back stamp. Love that. And I'm a huge fan of honey pots and jam jars, and this would be $2. Even though it doesn't have a lid, think what you could do with that. Fill it with cotton swabs, flowers, candies, even dessert spoons on a buffet. And this centerpiece bowl is also European with the hob star and the notched rim. And that would be $12.25 with their special today. Wow. I really should have picked this up. I saved a few things for you. So if you live in the Houston area, there are lots more treasures. And look at all this glassware. This is such a dream and all the colors of the rainbow. Old fashioned soda glasses. Oh, I could just fill cabinets here. And I see some different eras as well. There's a margarita glass. You know, you're in Texas, we're all about margaritas. And even some more modern pieces. Really impressive with their selection. There's something for every taste. And these I think would be perfect for Strawberries Romanoff for a brunch. You could put any kind of dessert in these and at half price $1.50. Wow. You could even serve champagne out of those if you wanted. It could be like a saucer champagne. And those are vintage and they have quite a few of them. This is a more modern glass and what a great price with their special today. You can't go to Target and get wine glasses any cheaper. The glassware section is a feast for the eyes. So many beautiful colors. And this to me, looks like a Murano piece. I'm not quite sure. It has a bit of gold dust at the base. It is definitely art glass. It's $50. Isn't that gorgeous? That could definitely be a focal point. And a couple more things I wanted to highlight. You know, I'm all about compotes and I will be featuring this in a future segment, the many different uses. And this is pressed glass. It is absolutely stunning. Look at that design, beautiful pedestal, and the price is right, $30. I think it's a great centerpiece. And they do have housewares on sale today. 
They say anything you can drink or eat out of, so that would be uh, on discount. And this piece is from Germany. It's Bleikristall, which means lead crystal. It reminds me of the Hofbauer. I'm not sure if it's that same brand, but it has a similar look and quite a gorgeous piece. Great for a centerpiece bowl. You could serve berries in it as well. Let's take a look at some of these colored pieces and some glasses that you could add to your tabletop collection. It's nice to add a bit of color to your table setting. And this pink glass, I believe it's Arco from France. These teacups are $4 each. And of course you could place this on maybe your everyday pattern, on another saucer that you have on hand. I'm even thinking you could put that on a dessert plate and serve maybe a cold soup or perhaps even a cupcake placed inside for a ladies luncheon and that could be your dessert. I think colored glass adds such interest and it doesn't mean that it's always expensive. This certainly is not. This is just an everyday florist vase, but in the cobalt color, it comes to life. It's $6, and again, Housewares is on sale today, so that saves you a lot more money. And this pink piece here, I think would be perfect for a pillar candle. I think that is probably hand-blown glass from Mexico. Isn't that gorgeous? You could even place flowers in that. You know I'm all about the blue and white transfer wear. This is the Mayflower. I wish I would have bought this for my Colonial Dames group, especially at half price at $12.50. That's a neat little picture, so much character. A little creamer. You could put flowers in that, it would be beautiful on a tea table. From Staffordshire, England. This is carnival glass. Look at the cups and saucers. It has a nice luster to it. And these are great everyday glasses. I have a friend that has these, that has some nice character. You can put those in the dishwasher too. And these I wanted to show you. This is ironstone. Those are really interesting colors. And Mason's is a mark that you probably recognize. And that's in the Ascot pattern and from England. This is my find of the day. You know, I'm all about chinoiserie, especially if it's blue and white. And even though I probably don't need more to add to my collection, I couldn't pass this up. The deal of the day, and it is $5. It originally came from Tuesday morning. What a great piece. And this is a small version of that. And I wasn't really thinking about it being half price when I picked it up, and I didn't get it. I really should have it $2.50. That would have been a steal. I could have filled it with flowers and given it to a friend on her birthday. Here's a nice overview of the houseware section. A smattering of dishes and glasses. And this, I thought, had a lot of character. Wouldn't that be interesting to display that on a bookshelf or even hang it on a wall? It is from England, and it's the Yosemite. What a deal. You know, you just can't go anywhere for a couple of dollars to find something that has such interesting look to it. And this is hand-painted from France, and I'm definitely going to pick this up for my daughter. She can appreciate that for sure. And the blue glass, even though there are only three plates and bowls, that would be great for breakfast. You could put cereal in that or maybe use it as a, a fruit bowl. And, you know, if there are only two of you, I think that'd be perfect. And you can certainly mix it with clear glass as well. And this is one of those mystery items that I will feature in a future segment on unusual finds when you're out thrifting and antiquing. I have a couple already, so I didn't get that one today. And this is a cheese dome. It actually is missing the base, but wouldn't that be fun just to have? You could use it to cover anything. And that's a pattern a lot of viewers have reached out to say that their parents had purchased, I think, through grocery stores years ago. And these plates I really like. They have a chinoiserie look to them. And even if you just bought one, it's spode. I'm not sure if you can see that. It's very, very old. You could put one on an easel in a bookshelf to add interest. You don't necessarily have to buy all of them. They are priced individually. Lovely. I was so tempted to get these. This is a newer piece. I liked the leaf pattern. I've done some parties before with that look and I wish I would have had this then for a centerpiece. And they've got some really nice dish sets here I wanted to show you. And they do a good job of showing you the different items that are in the collection so that you're not having to try to figure that out. I'm very visual, so that certainly would help me. And I think the colors on this are 
really neat. And you know, you can always stretch a pattern by adding it to your white dishes. You can alternate it. This mosaic pattern, I really liked. I'm thinking that's from the 1960s. And wouldn't that be fun to add to your table to mix with your other white? And speaking of white, here we've got some milk glass. These are part of those snack sets. And I've got quite a few of these you've probably seen before. And they're so practical, especially if you're having a shower or any kind of holiday party, white goes with everything. And here you've got 15 complete sets and at half price, that is a steal. So many different mugs and glasses and collectibles. You have to really look through. They have quite a lot of things. And here I found an Orifers Swedish Crystal Raspberry Votive. And I have several, so I'm not gonna pick it up, but for $9, that was a deal. Precious Moments is highly collectible. I don't know, some of you may have that, and I think the price is probably really good. This is a chamber pot, a bed pan. And you know, it's amazing how they made these so beautiful. This is from Wilkinson, England. It's a company that's probably no longer in existence, and I would use it not to serve soup, but maybe to put a plant in. There's my letter. They don't have a lot of furniture being January and a lot of it probably sold in December, but they still have some really nice things. And they have accessories as well for your wardrobe. Here's a coach purse. These are usually a couple hundred dollars. That'd be nice for the winter with the cool colors. Kenneth Cole, where can you go and get a nice purse for $9? You could outfit your home and your purse in here at Wham Resale. I didn't really look at the clothes too much today. I was more interested in the artwork, the books, and the housewares. There's a Vera Bradley that's monogrammed or actually embroidered with someone's name. And this I'm going to pick up for one of my organizations. I'll put that in the silent auction with something fun in it. And it's definitely cheaper than buying a gift bag. Think about that too when you see a nice summer tote. Here's an evening bag. This is from Nina. That's a brand you see at department stores. It's brand new. Never been used. You could give that as a gift too. And with prom season coming up in a few months, you know, everyone can use a nice evening bag. Picture frames can be art projects as well, as you've seen in the Revive Us Again from Eagleville, Tennessee. They actually make jewelry art and place it in some of these frames. And they have lots of different artwork here for every style, anything from modern to traditional. And I could get lost in this one. Looks like a really friendly village. Wouldn't you enjoy walking that path alongside the river like a fine lady? And this I thought was really interesting. It seems to be Belgian lace. I can see that above a dresser in a guest bedroom for a feminine touch. It's quite an unusual find. And this takes me to Downton Abbey. I'd like to get lost there too. And they have some interesting caned back chairs. Really so many interesting things at the store that I think you would definitely leave with some things to make your home look even nicer and some great gifts. And they're light on the furniture today, but I was impressed. I thought they had some neat sofas and that blue settee on the left, really liked that. Wish I had room for that. And they've got a great book section. We'll get back to that in a minute. And you could fill that with some of their books. Look at this antique secretary. That could be a project piece. And I've seen secretaries in bathrooms, entryways, and living rooms for $100 could be amazing. And their lighting reception reminds me of a light fixture that my parents bought in the 90s. It's a Victorian chandelier and they still have it. My father enjoys it and it is a showstopper. Here is an, it looks like an EAPG button pattern lamp. And this is kind of a colonial look for $80, I think in the right room or even in a kitchen, breakfast room, that could be fantastic. It could really help carry out the theme. And this antique find is something most unusual and I'll tell you a little bit about that. 
All of the items here at Wham Resale are donated by members of the community. And what an incredible gift this was. It is an antique organ from about 1910 and it is from Vermont. It is made by the SD company and all of the information here is on the organ. And I just wonder if this came from a large home, perhaps a small church, if it could talk and tell us all the stories and I'm sure beautiful music has been made over the years on this organ. Here's another overview of the store, but first I have to stop and look at this Chinese piece of furniture. Think of the storage there for dishes that could go in a living room, an entryway. That vivid red is quite welcoming and look at the top of this, so unusual. Lots of different colors. I really see lots of possibilities with this piece. And you could certainly touch up some areas. And it's $350. That could be a focal point. And fashion jewelry, they had plenty of this. There's so many different looks here. You could show up in a white t-shirt and jeans and leave the store looking fabulous. And I always like to look through the fashion jewelry because you never know what you'll find. 14 karat gold diamonds. Yes, I have found that. Stay tuned for the next episode. I like that orange. And I was thinking about the blue bonnets for my daughters, the Republic of Texas organization. That's a nice pin. So many different looks here. And the bracelets, these are popular. I've seen these at Rummel Creek Antiques as well. And that peacock hand painted bangle is nice. And bracelets are fun. That makes a good ladies gift as well. For the friend that has everything. Here's some more artwork. And keep in mind when you take a print to a framer, it can cost you $250, $350 to have framed. I have lots of experience with that. It's quite expensive. So if I find something that I think is really nice and it's $50 as much as $100, I think it's a bargain. And wouldn't that look great as a focal point in a living room? Or even above a bed. And this would take you to a tropical destination. It's so interesting. I like the use of color there. And someone was gifted this for a special occasion. And here's a look at their book section. And they do have a customer that comes in almost daily to see what's new because they do feature a lot of current books. It's not all sets of encyclopedias and the prices are great. And here they've got cookbooks. I personally love cookbooks. I have quite a collection of these. And behind the jewelry counter, they have a boutique area with silver plated treasures and silver plated teapot. You know, I can see florals in that. This is the William and Mary pattern from Wilton Armitel. That's one of my patterns. I just love the look. And that oval silver plated dish is great. Let's take a closer look at this teapot. It needs to be resilvered, but you know, it really doesn't matter. Once you fill it with flowers, use it as a centerpiece. And this silver plated compote, I'm gonna take this one home today. It's not in perfect condition. It's missing some of the silver around the edge. But for $10, I think that would be great to use even as a floral centerpiece. You can place oasis in it, build your arrangement. And you know, I'm a big fan of these covered casseroles. I think that it's not only great for keeping vegetables warm, but you can have two bowls for the price of one. Here's that fluted pattern piece. It's from Toll. And for $10, that's a good deal too. I especially like this one with the engraved letter. It doesn't even have to be your initial. It just has such character to it. And that's $18. I really, really like that. It's a great piece. And for $5, that would make a great gift. Fill it with some truffles or some maybe soaps. That can be great for after dinner as well. Serving your guests chocolate with coffee. This might be a Julia Knight piece, I'm not sure. And here's that compote I'm getting. I think that's so pretty. I actually did the drawing in this one for the giveaways and there are two viewers who still have not responded. So if you commented on the giveaway video, take a look. And they have nice pillows as well. You kind of have to have some 
ideas when you're looking at furniture. Maybe you don't like the sofa, but look at this, the pillow that's on it because that might really change the look of your boring chair that you have in a corner at home. I like that yellow pillow as well. That would definitely bring some sunshine into the room. And it goes well with blue as well. And here we've got some men's clothing. I didn't really look too much at their fashion today. I'm looking mostly at housewares and linens. And I have a chair in my entryway and I'm always looking for a small pillow for that to change with the seasons. And this was sold by Foley's, a department store. I have this in several colors. It's easy to throw in the wash. And this pillow might be nice for my entry chair. At least for the springtime, wouldn't that be great for $5? The price is right. And they have quilts as well. And of course they get donations throughout the week and their stock changes daily. This looks like a custom piece. You can tell by the edging. They have window treatments. And sometimes I look at curtains like this, for example, with the beautiful fleur-de-lis pattern. I think that could easily be draped on a buffet. And maybe you cover that plain area with something else. It would definitely be a nice piece. There's just so much to see here. And looks like they're already ready for the summer with tropical hats. It's actually cold in Texas right now, but that could change in five minutes. And these fashion pieces, I think would be fun for even a guest bath for $4. You could even reframe that or repaint the pink if that's too much for you. And this would be a really great project piece. It looks to be mid-century and you could easily wallpaper the back to change the look. You could paint the piece. And for $125, great china storage for a pattern like this. This is made in Japan and I love that soft blue. It has sort of an art deco look to it. And I'm sure it was very much loved and enjoyed. A beautiful table set with this pattern. And look at the hand painted gold edging. That pale blue is such a great color. Welcoming yet soothing. And that would be a nice addition to any tabletop collection. Wham Resale is a great shopping destination in the Houston area. They are celebrating their 40th anniversary. They started in 1982 and all proceeds benefit the community with rental assistance, help with utilities, food bank. And when we drove up here today, we saw a very long line of cars. They help 1,000 people three days a week to feed their families. And you can find some great deals here today too. And the best part of resale shopping is last year, they recycled or resold 3,000 tons of goods. And that definitely helps everyone. And it gives new life to some of these treasures. This blue and white chinoiserie vase was only $5 today with the additional discount on housewares and home decor. And this mushroom plate that is hand painted in France will be a wonderful gift for my daughter. And it's only $2 with the extra discount. She loves mushrooms and the color green. And that is perfection. It would be beautiful set on an easel used as a display piece, or she could actually serve on it. And this is part of their collectibles and it's not further discount, but $10. What a deal. It's a silver plated compote with a beautiful scalloped edging. And you know, I will bring you a segment soon on the many uses of compotes. And I'm picking up this straw bag. It's just a few dollars for my daughters of the American Revolution. The next time we have a fundraiser, I will fill it with something really fun. And that will be, um, instead of a basket, it'll be something nice to add. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this stop today at West Houston Assistance Ministries. Elevate your everyday with Charity Resales.